In this video we're going to talk about one of my favorite rules of composition, leading lines. Welcome back to the channel, this is PH Daniel Sanchez, art director and creative entrepreneur. And if you're new to the channel, welcome and don't forget to subscribe if you want to take your visuals to the next level. A couple of weeks ago we decided to go to New York City with my brother and we had this photo shoot. We chose this really cool location in Tribeca where you had this really old bridge that it was really amazing for composition. So here's what happened. I started shooting a couple of pictures with my brother, we got really cool results. And then I asked him to take a couple of pictures of me. I can ask as much from my brother because he's a personal trainer. I had to be really precise with the directions that I gave him. So he started shooting and I didn't like the results. I came back to my camera and I showed him one of the photographs that I took of him. And I told him this really basic rule of composition, which is called leading lines. Basically, you are taking advantage of your surroundings, of your background, in order to draw attention to a specific point of interest. So in these examples of my pictures, you can see how the building lines are coming towards my subject in the center. And that's where I place my subject. You are suggesting the viewer to follow the leading lines until they intersect with each other and that's exactly where you place your subject. That is your point of interest. It's funny because once I explained this rule to my brother, he was able to pick it up really quick and he started taking like really cool pictures. In fact, he started suggesting me ideas and things and we both learned that day. I'd like to try this composition rule next time you go out shooting. Just be mindful of your surroundings and see how you can take advantage of the leading lines so you can place your subject strategically and take some really cool pictures. Here's one thing that I'd like to add. This composition rules works really well when you're working with wide angle lenses. Let's say for example you bought a brand new camera and you have your kit lenses, the 18 to 55 millimeters. They're not gonna give you the creamy bokeh like blurry background, but that's fine. For this composition rule, it's actually better if you keep as much of the details on the background because you need those lines to help you draw the attention to the point of interest. The wider the lenses, the more prominent these leading lines are going to be. This is one of the rules that I would especially apply when I'm shooting with my cell phone. The reason why is because you are stuck with only one lens and it's an ultra wide lens. When you start applying this rule next time, you will see how the quality of your visuals are gonna level up tremendously. Now I'm gonna share with you a couple of examples of how I use this rule of composition in order to enhance the quality of my photographs. So that's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button because it really helps for other people to find this video. If you are new to the channel and you want to take your visuals to the next level, I encourage you to subscribe so you can stay updated with my content. This is PH Daniel Sanchez and I will see you next time.